All right, hey everybody, PC Attic 365 here with you, and today we are going to be checking out the uh, Tomb Raider benchmarks um, with and without Tress FX hair and a couple other settings too. So, all right, first let's go into uh, options, go to graphics, and just for the record, I am running a uh, EVGA GTX 680 Super Clocked Edition. Um, as you can see here, I left uh, V-Sync off because we're not going to be running over 60 frames per second. So basically leave it off if you're running under 60 frames per second. Um, then all these other settings we have on uh, Ultimate. Anti-aliasing I have on uh, FXAA. Um, this here is for uh, a lot higher resolution monitors and stuff. Basically, it, it's a lot better, but it's just going to kill the graphics performance. So, the best overall one is uh, FXAA, as far as for me for running on. So, basically, yeah, everything on Ultimate. And then, uh, we'll close this out. And we'll see what kind of benchmarks we get. So the Tress FX hair, which you can see here, um, it's kind of like individual strands of hair and whatnot. Uh, it's more of an AMD feature in a way, because AMD worked with the developers of Tomb Raider to develop the Tress FX hair. Okay, now it's going right through her. But anyways, AMD graphics cards will actually handle the Tress FX hair better because AMD work more directly with the publishers of Tomb Raider here, and NVIDIA didn't have a chance to. So the NVIDIA cards are not really optimized for Tress FX hair, so they do take a big performance hit when you enable it. However, it does look a lot better than the standard regular video game hair if they could get it to actually set on her shoulders. As you notice there, it's actually floating above her shoulders pretty much. But, um, there we go, benchmark minimum 17, max 50, and average frames per second is 40.3, and that's with uh, everything on Ultra. So now if we uh, turn FX, or Tress FX hair off, Let's see what we get with that. Go back in here, go to Tress FX, go to normal. Alright, we'll see how we do now. Okay, this is the same benchmark, only just without the uh, special effects hair. What the big deal is with that Tress FX hair is, uh, <laughs> I don't know why it keeps doing this. What the big deal is with the hair is, uh, before they had to basically use uh, pre-rendered CGI in order to get the individual strands. Um, now they're actually doing it in-game, which takes a lot of processing power. You can see here's the normal hair, which still looks plenty good. Me, honestly, the hair effect is just more for showing off. It doesn't really, it doesn't affect gameplay or nothing like that. So it's just to have the latest and greatest graphical effects to say, hey, look what I can do. So, all right, let's see what kind of frame rate frame rates we get with that turned off. There you go, now we're up at uh, average frame rates per second of uh, 55. So that made a big difference there, that was 15 frames per second just by the Tress FX hair. Um, let's see what else we got. So 
So if we leave the uh, hair quality normal and turn on the 2x SSAA, um, I'll show you guys how that affects it. That's your uh, higher anti-aliasing. This on here might take a pretty good performance hit too. I think SSAA stands for like superior sample anti-aliasing, something like that. And again the benchmark cuts through it, no idea why. just weird. Must be some kind of glitch or something like that. But yeah, overall uh, Tomb Raider here, the game is really, really good. If you guys are a fan of the series and the old ones, um, and you've played them before, definitely check out the new one here. Because it is an amazing game. I'm about halfway through it so far, and I gotta say, I was getting halfway through it, I thought I'd be towards the end, but I'm only about halfway through, so it's a pretty, fairly decently long game, too. Alright, so with Tress FX hair off, we get 41 frames per second. So if you want to have superior anti-aliasing, if you can actually notice a difference, which I probably can um, you can turn on SSAA, but then you're probably just going to have to turn off the uh, Tress FX hair. Okay, now let's have some fun here. We'll just switch this. Remember, this is a GTX 680. So let's just switch this back down to normal. Oops. Okay. And this will be our last benchmark here. already see by my uh, indicator in the top left it's running at uh, 150 frames per second on normal. Why is it doing that? God that bugs me. Hey you guys let me know in the comments if uh, yours is doing that too or not. Um, it's really weird. Maybe it's just mine, maybe it's some of your guys too doing it, I don't know. But um, Also, if any of you guys have a Radian 7970, um, please try and do another video just like this. Um, copy my settings, write them down, whatever you got to do, but do another video. And then uh, post your results also. Post uh, You can do a uh, reply to my video or video response on YouTube there and I'll uh, view it and then accept it. That way people can check out the difference between the GTX 680 and the Radeon, AMD Radeon 7970. Just to give everybody an idea of what kind of graphical performance for frames per second you're looking at on Tomb Raider here. I know the AMD cards do run better, like I say, because they're more optimized for, or this game is more optimized for the Tress FX Air and the AMD cards. So. I'd be curious just to see if some of you guys can post up your numbers. So, Alright, um, as you can see here on normal settings, GTX 680 has no problem running this thing. Average frames per second, 161. So now if you had, uh, some of you might be wondering about the video sync or the V-Sync, if you guys had that enabled, um, they would basically cap your frames per second at whatever your refresh rate of your monitor is, like minus 60. So it'd pretty much cap it at that to try and match up with your refresh rate. Um, I got a video about it on my channel, so 
check out my channel, um, PC Attic 365. I got other videos. Uh, I got some Tomb Raider gameplay walkthrough videos. They take forever for me to upload, but I plan on uploading some more. So, all right. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, thanks for watching, and remember, favorite, like, share, and subscribe. It helps me out. So, thanks, guys. Bye.